maybe I'll do it on the side. Because I think after this, I'm probably going to get some upgraded gear and weapons. Because I'm a little outdated now. Did it? Yeah. Oh la la. Oh, look at all these ladies. Alright. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Call me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. <sighs> Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. <sighs> Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Yay. <sighs> What's he schemed up this time? Lots of stuff, Geralt, lots of stuff. I don't like it either, but... Hey, he's your friend! Ah, finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes, if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. <laughs> written your lines already. You've written what? <laughs> so you know what to say during the performance. Here, and your mask. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Ah, <sighs> damn lion. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Not your lucky day, miss. Hand me your purse, now. <gasps> Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. <laughs> More like the Crimson Asshole. <laughs> Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Oh, God. <laughs> Hit me, baby! Ow. 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 Ah, <sighs> damn <Dandelion>. I. <laughs> I remember when I did this, I actually beat him up, and I was like, oh, wait, that's poor. That, that was not good, but let's see what happens if he beats me up. Okay. My hair. Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. Come inside. I shall bandage you up. Be gone, vile bandit, or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless. <laughs> All right. Well, this sucks because I didn't even get my health back. What the fuck? Ah, this is so lame.
God damn it. I only have four chicken legs left. Uh, I guess I use a swallow. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peach. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Oh. <laughs> Why are you asking me? Well... The lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now would you please decide where I bust a vessel? No idea what Dandelion would like. Geralt, you've known him longer. Say something. Oh god. There we go. Sure, I've known him longer, but he's never so much as changed his socks for me. Never mind commissioning a full blown renovation. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. Both our lives have revolved around the stage, and Cabaret's a form of theatre, in a way. Fine. Let's do the theatre decor. I certainly hope it'll be to his liking. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. <laughs> well, well. Guess this Cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Oh. Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. <laughs> we talking about the same Dandelion? Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novigrad in one night. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. Great. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. Hi there, handsome. Okay. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the, uh, accoutrements on the wall. Priscilla picked them. Well, I must admit, you have great taste. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And she say anything about me? Oh. <laughs> yeah, she said you're fat and you smell. Yeah. Uh, she raised, she praised right. She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible. 
Got your feet planted firmly on the ground? You're pulling my leg. <laughs> Not this time. Aww. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. <laughs> you mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? Deneline. <laughs> She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked! They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital! Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please! Of course, let's go. See, this is where it all begins, boys. Girls. Gods. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and schooling inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week, a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. Oh. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. Mm -hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. I have no idea what that is. Oh, I just forgot. You lead. Alright. That was quite strong what you just said there. So, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Thick. Sewing up drown of the can group. Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Oh, did I actually burn him by accident? Oh shit. Ow. Insta death, but he was almost dead. Oh yeah, baby. Hell yeah. Ooh, that's what I needed. 
Well, not really what I need, but it's like needed for like stuff to make for Witcher gear. You know what I mean? Oh, more drowners. Lovely. Oh, it's a water hag. Oh shit, that's not a drowner. Ooh. Oh no. Oh yeah, I love the instant death, baby. That feels fucking good. All right. Holy shit, there's more? Jesus Christ. Come on, baby, let's dance. Oh, yeah. Woo, right in half. Yes, it's not far now. How's it look? Give it to me straight. No sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Oh no. Sure you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Oh. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Wait, what? 